So I actually already made a video uh, showing my votes, but for whatever reason, my well, like I said before, when I tried recording it, it came out really, really, really badly. It's super laggy, and it was just not good. And streaming it now, it is better. But yeah, I had already did the voting, and that's not what I'm doing here. Here, my dog. He's he's barking in his sleep. I don't know if you can hear it or not. <laughs> anyway, but yeah, I already did my voting, uh, even though I already did it before. But what I was going to do now is I was going to give my predictions on who I think is going to win. Now, in my last, in my video for my voting, I put that... Um, I want I, I voted for Metroid Dread. I wanted Metroid Dread to win. That being said, who do I think is actually gonna win it? I think it might be Resident Evil Village. Just because out of all these other games, it's such a monster of a game. So as much as I want Metroid Dread, or really Honestly, I would be okay with It Takes Two, Psychonauts 2, or even Ratchet at Clank winning it. I would actually be okay with that. But I feel like because of the how big the game is, I think Resident Evil Village is going to be the one to take it. And it sucks, but I think that's how it might go. But who knows? That's just a prediction. Maybe I'll get lucky and Metroid Red does win. Oh, see, it did save my previous votes. So, did game? Did I not vote Game of the Year and accidentally just skip it? Weird. Anyway, let's see. All right, so best game direction again. I want Re I want Returnal to win this game to win this award. Who I think will win it? I think it takes two is gonna win this one. As much as I want Returnal to win it, I think it takes two is gonna be the winner of this category. Just because of how good that game was in its, you know, it's cliche to say, but in its direction. The whole co-op mentality and the process of having to work with your partner to get through the game. It was simply amazing, honestly. And it's not to be underestimated. So I genuinely believe that it takes two might win that is probably gonna win this one. I personally would want Returnal to win, but I think it takes two might take it. All right. Best narrative. I voted Psychonauts 2 and I stand by that. I really think the game had a fantastic story and it's also a very uh, poignant story, you know, about mental health and all that. And I, I, I really would like to see it win, but I highly doubt it will. More likely, again, it'll be either True Colors or it takes two. If Guardians wins, oh my god, that's gonna be such a nightmare. Oh look, I will. Like part of me thinking because of it being Marvel, Guardians will win, and that just annoys me, and I don't want to see that happen. But yeah, I believe 
either true colors or it takes two will take it and i'm leaning more towards true colors i think true colors is gonna win this category Oop. where is mine there we go Best art direction. I put the art that yeah, the artful escape, but man, I actually think freaking Death Loop is gonna win this one. Just because it's a game that's been like how many previews was it at? How many like times did they have like these like five minute long trailers to like hype up this game that we got so sick of it? So I honestly think just because of how again media and all that shit works, I think Deathloop might take best art direction and it does not deserve it. Um I put Artful Escape, but if I'm dreaming high, if I'm praying to the stars above, I would actually want Psychonauts 2 to take this. Uh, Ratchet and Clank was, again, I didn't play it. I saw a playthrough of it, and it was a very beautiful, beautiful game. And same thing with Kenna, not so much with Kenna. I think I've like watched half of it. But I think I would still rather have Psychonauts 2 win it than Ratchet and Clank. My vote was for Artful Escape because honestly that game is beautiful. It's one of the, I want to say few things, but it's one of its best attributes for that game. Because to be honest, the game is a bit easy. It's like a little bit boring in that sense. I know it's rough to say that, but it's kind of hard not to. But yeah, I put Arful Escape, but I can totally see Death Loop taking this just because, again, of that, that mentality of how long it's been around. Um, yeah, so best music and score. I put near, uh, because I did listen to some of this. And it's a very beautiful soundtrack. A lot of its melodies are very, like, hypnotic and entrancing, and they flow with the gameplay and the story very well. That being said, as much as it sucks, I think they're going to give it to Guardians of the Galaxy. Just because people are going to automatically picture the licensed music and automatically think of that stuff. So they're going to think, oh yeah, that's an amazing soundtrack, such good stuff. But that's actually not really what it's for. It's for... Um, the actual original compositions in the game, which there are. There are some original compositions in that game. But I just think most people are going to let that just go right over their heads and they're going to give it to Guardians for that and not realize it. I put near, but I really do think, I think Guardians is going to take it just because people are going to just... Confuse it with the licensed music. All 
uh, best audio design. Again, I put mine for Returnal. Again, I'm so heartbroken that Returnal didn't at least get a nomination for Game of the Year. Breaks my heart. Breaks my heart that it didn't. This one, I see them giving it to Resident Evil. Or maybe Deathloop again. No, no. I'm going to say they'll probably give it to Resident Evil. Again, I would want Returnal to win it, but I believe that uh, Resident Evil is going to take this one. Best performance? Actually, I think... I think I'm me... I think Erica Mori is going to win this one. I strongly do believe that. So my vote is for her, and I really do think she will be the one to take it. Again, True Colors, amazing game, amazing performance by everyone in that game but she were like her obviously because she's the main character the main focus but yeah she knocked it out of the park really amazing work by her and she she's gonna win it i believe or i'm, I'm predicting and she deserves to win it obviously as you can tell by my vote all right games for impact Uh, yeah, I'm going to stick again. I believe uh, True Colors will win this one also. Just because, honestly, I've never really heard of any of these other games. And I feel like that's going to be the case with a lot of these other people. Obviously, the, most of the votes are coming from media outlets. That's how they get their votes. But even from them, I don't think a lot of people are going to vote for them. I believe they're going to go for uh, Life is Strange True Colors. And, I mean, I'm not saying it doesn't deserve it. It's a very good, amazing game. But it's just I don't know enough about these other ones. Best ongoing again. I'm biased because I play Final Fantasy 14. I love Final Fantasy 14. It's one of my favorite games that I play. It's the only MMO that I play. And it breaks my freaking heart. But they're probably going to give it to Fortnite again because of bullshit. If not, Fortnite, it'll go to Call of Duty. Neither of one, which I give a rat's ass about, and I really don't think deserve it as much as Final Fantasy does. But yeah. Uh, again, I find it so weird that they, that Final Fantasy's in the category again. I mean, yes, the game is still ongoing. I'm trying to remember. Was it nominated last year in 2020? I'm trying to remember, and I think it was. And again, it lost to Fortnite. And maybe I'm thinking too much into it, but yeah, like I can't remember if it was or not. But I just find it so weird that the uh, it's getting nominated. If it if it didn't, yeah, I find it strange that it's getting nominated now after being around for so long, and obviously because it it's blown up to another level with all these mega big streamers streaming it now. But I still find it a little weird. That being said, again, 
as much as I want Final Fantasy fourteen to win it, I want them to win it. I all of me wishes and prays for them to win it. But I think it's gonna go to either Fortnite again or Warzone. But my money's on Fortnite because that game's just too huge. Alright, best indie. I voted for Death's Door, but I think the one that's going to take it is Inscription. Because that game has been... I've been hearing a lot of murmurings about this game and how phenomenal, sorry, that phenomenal it is. So I actually think Inscription might take Best Indie. I would want Death's Door because I like Death's Door. Canna Bridge of Spirits, I've heard good things, but I have yet to play or even watch a walkthrough of it. And no, no, I have I've seen half of it. I'm trying to, I've been I've been watching so many videos lately. But yeah, Ken is amazing. I would want Death's Door to win it, but I think Inscription might take it. And I sort of got if twelve minutes. I don't even, I don't even know why 12 Minutes is nominated. It's nominated just for the fact of, like, famous people are in it. And it was done by Annapurna. And again, Annapurna has released some amazing stuff. I don't question or doubt that. But 12 Minutes was a bit flat to me. So yeah, I would want Death's Door. I might vote for Death's Door. But I think Inscription is going to take this one. Best mobile game, I, I, I said Pokemon Unite. I have, have, I honestly have no idea. The one that I think will win it, believe it or not, I think Genshin Impact is going to take this one. I, I don't know why, but part of me, I don't know why, but part of me is telling me that Genshin Impact is going to run away with this one. I've never played it. I never cared for it, honestly, any mobile games. But for whatever reason, that's the one that a lot of people like. I've been seeing a lot of around lately. All right, this one, the best community support. Again, I voted Final Fantasy XIV. And I think fourteen will also win this one. Because, again, of just how much it's blown up this past year. And how every, you know, all the wet veteran, veteran WoW players coming in. And they all talk about how supportive the community is, how nice, how engaging, how wonderful the community is. Obviously, it's not perfect. There's always going to be assholes here and there ruining things. But overall, the reception of the community of Final Fantasy XIV has been overly positive and seen as one of its pillars. And it's a highlight for a lot of these players. So I actually think... Final Fantasy fourteen will win this one. And I'm happy about that. All right. Innovation and accessibility. Again, I don't know that many of the options for accessi accessibility uh you know i've never i've thankfully haven't had to go through that i oh that sounds wrong to say 
but I I don't I can't salvage that, so I'm just gonna move on. I've never had to use any of these options before. That being said, I think the one that'll take this one will probably be Far Cry. Something tells me that that game needs an award. They want to give it one. So they'll probably give it this one. That sounds horrible, but I think that's what's going to happen. Best VR and AR. Again, I have no uh, history with AR or VR. I only have one good eye, so I can't even really do VR or AR. Uh, I just picked Resident Evil 4 because I love that game in all versions of it. That being said, I think it'll also win it. I, I think it will win this. Because I've heard really good things about it. So yeah, I think I'm going to give this one to also Resident Evil to win it. And I'm sorry if I'm looking down. I keep trying to check the stream to make sure everything's okay. <laughs> That's Again, because when I record, it comes out a random crazy choppy mess but when i stream it's relatively good it doesn't really have any problems and i don't know why probably with my settings or my hardware i gotta get new stuff anyway but yeah all right best action game okay i got a text now hold on Okay, no, that's that, that's nonsense. All right, so best action game, Returnal. You obviously know my vote. Returnal gets this one. Who I think they'll give it to? I think Deathloop will take this one. Because again, it's been talked about so much and the intricacies of how you can go around the world and do this stuff, and then the P V E P, the P V E V P, nature of it with um, the girl. I just saw her name and I can't remember. But yeah, I think Deathloop will take this one. I'll actually be surprised if Far Cry or Back for Blood take it. That'll surprise me. I mean, I would love for Returnal to win this one. I would absolutely be over the moon for Returnal to win this one. But I think that will give it to Deathloop. Best Action Adventure. Again, I put Psychonauts 2. Uh, even though I gave Metroid Dread my game of the year, I would give this to Psychonauts 2 just because as amazing as Metroid Dread is in some respects I had a little bit more fun with Psychonauts 2 that being said I think they're going to give this one to Rhythm of Evil Again, it's just such a big game, and I, I think they're going to give it to Resident Evil. And usually, best action adventure... No, that's not true. Not always the case. I'm trying to remember past game awards. If usually the best action adventure always equates to game of the year. And no, no, no. That, that, that's, not, that's not true. I was, But yeah, I, I still believe Resident Evil Village will take this one. I mean, that being said, I wouldn't be upset with any of these winning. All of these were fantastic, amazing games. And I wouldn't be, like, 
I wouldn't mind any of these winning. I would want Psychonauts 2 to win, but I don't mind seeing the others win. Best role playing game. I think Tales of Arise will take this one. There is no chance in hell Cyberpunk 2077 wins this. Not after all the controversy and back and forth and all that nonsense that happened with that game's release. I'm even I'm, I'm still amazed it was even nominated, quite frankly. The Monster Hunter Rise again, Iceborne was such a juggernaut and so amazing. But there was something about Rise I just couldn't get into. And I think that holds true for a lot of other people, because you didn't see a lot of other people making videos about rise like you did uh world uh world and iceborne but you know you would see videos of, of other people making the uh of other people making videos of this game but i didn't see so much of that for rent for rise so i don't think they'll win it shin megami tensei 5 it's just i don't think enough of the average joe have had enough time to play this game yes the outlets the media outlets have had time to play this game and yeah even with that i don't even know why it's nominated here because again it's just for us the common folk it's only it's been out for like two weeks now i think it is one week less maybe shit when did that game come out point is i just don't think it's been out long enough to warrant being even considered best role-playing game uh, Scarlet Nexus, again, I did play. Uh, I liked. That being said, I do think Tales of Arise will win this one. Because I've heard so many good things. And I think it's one of the best-selling Tales games in a couple of years, if I'm not mistaken. So, yeah, I voted for it, and I do believe it will win it. Best fighting game is Strive, and who's going to win it? Strive. That thing is just too good, too amazing, and honestly, it's the game that it's going to be at the forefront of everybody's mind, because not a lot of people are going to know about Demon Slayer, Melty Blood. Nickelodeon All-Stars, yeah, a lot of, obviously people know it because of how obvious of a Smash clone it is. But uh, yeah, and Virtual Fighter Five, same thing. A lot of people aren't just gonna, they're not gonna think about it. They're not gonna even realize that that's right. That game, that new version of the game did come out this year. But yeah, Strive, I voted for it because it is without a doubt one of the greatest fighting games ever, in my opinion, in a long time. And I do believe they will win it. Best family game. I put I put Mario Party. But the game I think that will win this. As much as I don't think it should. I think it's going to be Pokemon Snap. Just because of. How massive that game is. No no no. I, that's that. There's no way. I changed that. It's going to be Wario get it together. <laughs> No. Uh but yeah. As much as I don't think it's a family game, I think it takes two will win this. Why? Because it's a damn good game out of compared to all these other games, it takes two, I think, is the best game out of all these. Out of uh, yeah. Definitely out of all these options. It Takes Two is the best game here on this list. 
But man, I do not consider that a family game. That is that game gets dark with some heavy themes. So yeah. I think it takes two will win this one. I'll be surprised if it doesn't. I mean, I put Superstars because that is a game I consider to be, you know, a family-friendly game. You know, party game, everyone can play. Same thing with Wario, get it together. But I do believe that Superstars is better than Wario. So I, that's why I picked Superstars. But I think it takes two to win this game, this award. Even though I really don't consider that game to be a family-friendly game or a family game. Best sim strategy, strat. Why can't I stay? Strategy. Strategy. There we go. Best sim slash strategy. Uh, I put inscription because that's the only one I really know. I mean, I know Age of Empires, but inscription. I've heard so many good things, and it's been doing very well, I believe, in the media circuit. So I think Inscription will win this one. If not, Inscription, it'll probably go to Age of Empires 4, which, sure, I guess. But I would rather see Inscription. I believe Inscription will take it, and I would, you know, I want them to take it. I think they deserve it. Uh, best sports and racing, uh, Forza 5, Hor Horizon 5, no question. Uh, I believe that game will take it. My, I say that, but part of me wants to... That's me not taking into consideration FIFA and all the money they have and all that bullshit. So I would say five, but yeah, I think they'll give it to FIFA just because it's freaking FIFA. And that'll really piss me off. I would, I would, I say Horizon Five, and I want Horizon Five, but part of me thinks they're gonna give it to FIFA because it's freaking FIFA. Ugh. Best multiplayer. Okay, I gave this one a It Takes Two. And as much as I want it to win, I think the one that'll win this one, believe it or not, is Valheim. I can't count the number of times I've heard people talk or rave about Valheim's, uh, you know, multiplayer you know it's a multiplayer based it's a multiplayer game with servers and all that similar to minecraft and all that but i've heard people rave about that game and it's how it plays with other people and all that and what you have to go through and do with them i say it takes two should win this one obviously i voted for it but i think valheim is actually going to take this one and that doesn't upset me the only way this award upsets me is if they give it to New World or Knockout City. Because again, New World, man, with all the troubles that game is going through right now, I can't even believe it got nominated, honestly. But yeah, I would, I would want takes two, but I think Valheim's going to take this one. And then, yeah, I don't know any of these people. I mean, I've seen them, but I, I don't really know any of them. I put Dream just because, yeah, whatever. And then, okay, 
best debut indie. I put Artful Escape. But I think the one that's going to take this one is again Valheim. Because again, I've heard people just rave about that game. And yeah, I would say Artful Escape, but I do believe Valheim will take this one too. Oh, let me crack my neck. Ooh. Give me a second, just checking the stream to make sure it's all good. Okay, looks to be fine. Most anticipated. I put Elden Ring. That's my most anticipated game. And I would want that game to win. But just because of... It's Zelda. Zelda's gonna win this one, I believe. Because, again, it's Zelda. Why would you... Well, there's no way you don't give this to Zelda. For whatever reason. But yeah, I would want Elden Ring. I voted for Elden Ring, but I think they're going to give it to Zelda. I wouldn't be upset with God of War. I would. I, that's actually my second favorite, honestly. I'd For anybody who's seen my other streams or past streams or whatever, uh, I have a whole entire playthrough of God of War up. And... I've actually played every single God of War, and I have platinumed every single God of War. And, yeah, I, this game, amazing. I, it, it's my number two, anticipated, number two anticipated game. But I just, it's Zelda. They're going to get, like, I would love for Elden Ring to win. I vote for Elden Ring. But I think they're just going to give it to Zelda, because, come on, it's Zelda. Hey, sorry about that. So my whole computer crashed. It wasn't just the software, but like the entire thing crashed. So let me get this outro out of the way. But yeah, so those were my uh, predictions of who I think will win the at uh, the Game Awards. And also, obviously, my votes. If you didn't watch my previous video because of how laggy of a mess it was, there, are, there again you can see the votes that I casted and who I would want to win versus who I predict who I predict will win. But yeah, so again, if you like this video, please leave a, leave a like. I would really appreciate it or comment down below. And I hope you continue to be with me and watch more of my stuff and please bear with me. But yeah, until next time, have a good night and a good game.